The establishment and core value of Opportunity Biotech is based on agricultural genome big data. Therefore, the core technical layout lies in the production, management, and application of genomic data and other value-added competencies. At present, our business focuses on genotype management, performance testing, germplasm propagation, genetic and breeding consultation, and the development of livestock and fishery electrogenesis. The main applications of agricultural genome is heredity and breeding. The genotype biomarkers are the data sources for analysis, hence biomarker analysis is the foundation for carrying out various research. The commonly seen platforms include NGS and microarray platforms. In particular, a microarray platform not only can carry out genome-wide genotyping, but also detect 900,000 SNP markers in a single run, making it the most efficient genotyping platform. It is also applicable to various organisms, including microorganisms. Thermo Fisher Scientific's Axiom Solutions adopt high-density SNP arrays, coupled with Applied Biosystems Gene Titan MC System, a fully automated platform to rapidly produce data within a week. The Gene Titan automated platform can rapidly and accurately detect biomarkers required for bulk specimens in agricultural research. Additionally, the SNP genotype data can be steadily accumulated. In the past, we built a Taiwan porcine breeding database and carried out genome-wide genotyping for 3,600 swine. Using Applied Biosystems Axiom Porcine Breeders Array and comparing it with other platforms, we found that Axiom Solution is competitive whether in terms of data quality or cost. Groupers and tilapias are the main fish species bred in Taiwan, with an average annual value of 5 billion NT dollars and 2.8 billion NT dollars respectively. Some difficulties have been encountered. Grouper farming has lost productivity due to inbreeding. The global climate change makes the breeding environment bad, and the global tilapia industry suffers from bacterial infection, with the overall economic loss of more than 500 million US dollars. In order to break through existing breed restrictions and accelerate the breeding program, we have developed Taiwan's first Applied Biosystems Axiom Aquatic Array, Aquo OPP1, to decode the whole genome sequence of grouper and tilapia. It is expected to accelerate the grouper and tilapia breeding progress in the future. Longdian Marine Biotechnology Company Limited has been committed to taming, cultivating and breeding wild fish species since its incorporation and has mastered the core technologies. Longdian has successfully developed 8 out of 10 artificially bred grouper species in the world. Currently, the main predicament faced by the grouper aquaculture industry is the poor survival rate and weak disease resistance arising from inbreeding of the species. The survival rate of grouper was 80 to 90% but is now 40 to 50 percent, which cannot be resolved through the traditional farming approach. And this has troubled us for a long time. Also, pure wild species are no longer available in the ocean. We have decided to initiate a preliminary cooperation with Opportunity Biotech after learning about its core technologies in genomic analysis, inheritance and breeding to refine the breeding of grouper species with the next generation breeding platform. We use Applied Biosystem Axiom Custom Array developed by Opportunity Biotech through this cooperation to analyze the groupers. According to the pedigree analysis, some fish come from the same family. This cannot be discovered through the traditional breeding approach, and it makes us think about changing the practice of parental selection. Fish fry vary in size by up to three times in the same clutch in our breeding process. Some fish fry grow faster than others, which have a low survival rate and are known as fishtail. To reduce the ratio of fishtail, we have constructed the largest grouper breeding farm in Taiwan. We regularly select groupers by hand, sort them by size or activity, and then raise them in separate farming pools. This process is very labor intensive, time consuming, and costly. We have learned through the technology of Opportunity Biotech that the individual difference is caused by genetics. We can directly cultivate fish fry with fast growth and strong disease resistance through genetic testing. Therefore, we have adopted this concept of breeding. 
We collected and checked the specimens of the larvae and fish fry with Aqua OPP1 arrays implanted for genetic analysis to clarify the genetic relatedness of the fish fry within two weeks. We also identified the giant grouper and its hybrid variety, the tiger grouper. The dominant species can be identified promptly and clearly with this species identification technology. We can proceed with pedigree planning according to the test results. That is, adjusting the family with large population to effectively reduce the cost of breeding conservation and also carry out scientific breeding preservation according to the genetic results to maintain genetic diversity of fish, thereby reducing the probability of inbreeding based on scientific methods of breeding. The humphead wrasse is currently protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, which controls its management, trade and use. Long Dian was authorized by the government of Indonesia and Taiwan to import humphead wrasse in 2011 for restoration research. Fish fry were cultivated successfully in 2012. An application was filed again to Taiwan government in 2019 to import the humphead wrasse to expand the scale of artificial cultivation and to facilitate the wild release of humphead wrasse. It is highly possible to cooperate with Opportunity Biotech in the future to develop a custom array for a technological restoration for humphead wrasse, like calculating DNA barcodes by using array data to maintain the diversity of wild genome. We hope to mass produce humphead wrasse lift the restrictions and become a value-added and sustainable aquaculture industry in Taiwan. The Freshwater Aquaculture Research Center was established around 90 years ago and it is committed to preserving and cultivating freshwater economic creatures in Taiwan. Tilapia farmed in freshwater is an important source of food with a production of around 6 million tons a year worldwide. Taiwan produces around 70,000 tons of tilapia a year. Our institute has been engaged in the improvement of tilapia species for more than 60 years. The technology of production has also been extended to the industry. Tilapia is the main edible freshwater fish species in Taiwan. Tilapia is more adaptable, grows faster, and is more affordable than other fishes. The Freshwater Aquaculture Research Center preserves complete tilapia fish germplasm including introduced species and strains of different ages, as well as single male hybrid offspring, high growth, disease resistant, and other excellent strains developed over years. It is the place to preserve the complete species of tilapia in Taiwan. There are several important issues in tilapia breeding. The demand for anti-adversity characteristics, such as disease resistance, early maturity, high yield, heat tolerance, and cold tolerance. In response to the breeding risks arising from climate change, we hope to develop anti-adversity breeding technology and to breed species that are resistant to adversity and disease. For example, cold tolerance, salt tolerance, and disease resistance are all inherited quantitative traits involving massive genes with complexity and functions. Hopefully, it is possible to identify the important anti-adversity-linked molecular markers. It is necessary to consider the genome diversity throughout the breeding process. The use of traditional breeding operations and microsatellite molecular markers is relatively complicated in practice. Also, we are experiencing the challenge of limited research capacity. A high-throughput and robust genome-wide SNP genotyping platform is a breeding tool worth trying. The solutions from Thermo Fisher Scientific can be used to explore this problem. We have mainly adopted a hybrid breeding approach and several important trade-linked SSR molecular markers for assisted selection. Currently, we have no experience in using SNP markers. Opportunity Biotech's custom Aqua OPP1 array provides us a different development opportunity. It allows us to construct a genome-wide SNP database of tilapia species with different traits. The database contains more than 50,000 SNPs that can help greatly shorten our time in screening polymorphic molecular markers and provide options for multiple sources of molecular markers. We expect to analyze the elite species and abundant germplasms of the Freshwater Aquaculture Research Center 
by taking advantage of the technology and experience from Opportunity Biotech in agrogenomic analysis and seek the linked and relevant SNP markers related to the adversity resistance of tilapia. Finally, we expect to introduce a new generation of super male and disease resistant fish species to help break through the bottleneck of breeding and contribute to food security in the future. Endeavoring to do still better, sustainable development. The future trend 